Welcome back. Uh, let's do another proof in Zotto. Uh, so we, to do another proof, we have to declare a theory or easily we can open the last file that we're working with, the example, thy. We can see here the, uh, the proof we did from the last time. And now we're going to declare a new lemma. So, and we're going to give it the name example1. And this is the lemma that we proof. We have here the set of premises, b and q and we have R2, then we can get Q and R. We're gonna now do a backward reasoning and we have to look at the goal first. We have Q and R, and we can get Q and R from the conjunction introduction. So and we are gonna apply the rule conjunct introduction. And now we can see Isabel give me two sub goals, B and Q, then R then Q, and B and Q then R then R. The second sub goal, of course, will be resolved by applying the assumption, but Isabel goes through the sub goals one by one. So I will not be able to do this or to finish this sub goal without going through this sub goal first. We have a good comment here, helpful comment that called differ that gets the last sub goal to the first position. And now, if I apply, if I apply assumption I got the first sub goal is open and now we have to look at the only remaining sub goal we have we need to get Q out of R and we have B and Q so if we use the elimination rule for and for the second or for the position two we can get Q so we can apply the rule conjunct to and easily we got Q out of this or the same now we can compare between this and this we have we have B and Q and we have a variable and Q so we can substitute this variable by P and so we can see it's the same now we apply assumption now we have no sub goals remaining, and we will have any right done until it's over that we finished our proof. We can say the try now, and we can go from the beginning of the proof. Now we have the lemma, the lemma here is declared, and then we have the conjunction introduction that gave me Q and R. Then we, we exchange it the sub goals to be able to remove the first one, and then we used the conjunction. <coughs> introduction to to compare between the goal and the premises and then we have applying the assumption so we have no sub goals hope it was easy and uh, as you can see now after finishing this proof we still have the lemma px one is now defined and if i'm now gonna do another proof i can use this lemma as proved lemma or a proved theorem inside my next proof Okay, see you next time.